Can canoe stay afloat? If there had been more people at the table, I'm sure that concerns around this may have been discussed. And that is where we begin tonight at 6. I'm Jolene Cheney. And I'm Kevin Ogle. Some are worried electric vehicle startup Canoe may be sinking. The state has promised the company $15 million in incentives over the next four years. News 4's Nick Camper joins us here in the studio with details on this. Nick? So all money set aside for Canoe is based on incentives. The Department of Commerce says that no money has been given to Canoe as of right now, but lawyers say they're concerned about this type of state funding. You certainly don't want to have uh, a lot of taxpayer dollars on the hook, an IOU, so to speak, and, and have them not meet their expectations. An initial $15 million incentive deal was used by Governor Kevin Stitt to lure Canoe to Oklahoma. It came from the governor's quick action closing fund, which was the largest amount in state history and not approved by the legislator. If there had been more people at the table, I'm sure that concerns around this may have been discussed. After Canoe's first quarter filing Tuesday, there are questions about the company's financial stability. The company says, as of the date of this announcement, we are reporting that there is substantial doubt about the company's ability to continue as a going concern. Canoe CEO Tony Aquila says the company has $600 million in accessible capital. Aquila said in Tuesday's earnings call, We have been clear about our philosophy of raising capital judiciously and will continue with this disciplined approach. The Department of Commerce says that no payments have been made to Canoe, but the department, quote, remains optimistic on Canoe's ongoing progress in Oklahoma. Meanwhile, Canoe says they have broken ground on their facility in Pryor. Representative Bennett says he is still interested in Canoe because of the potential jobs and state revenue. I've been impressed with their vision and their dedication to the state, um, but of course, uh, words mean uh, much less than deeds do. Right now, Canoe does not have uh, a car available for consumers. They do look to have something on the market in 2023.